What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we'll be talking about a few different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Scream 7. We'll be talking about The Strangers 3. Give an update on that and why we don't have any news regarding it allegedly. And also sharing some other exciting tidbits that I discovered that I don't think many of you might be aware of that I'll disclose in this video. And we'll round it out by talking about Saw X. Now the Scream 7 aspect of this is mostly going to be a theory. So we're going to start off with The Strangers 3. The Strangers 3 still has no news on when it's going to be officially released and i have some information on why according to is tamarahome.net so shout out to you if you are listening and guys if you want any type of news regarding the status of the strangers please just go to is tamarahome.net i'll leave a link to their website down in the description they also have a twitter page as well i believe but we know that the strangers trilogy that we're about to get one of them to start it off with is going to be following a character named Maya, played by Madeline Petch, as she drives cross country with her longtime boyfriend, Ryan, uh, to begin a new life in the Pacific Northwest. When their car breaks down in Venice, Oregon, they're forced to spend a night in a secluded Airbnb where they are terrorized from dusk till dawn by three masked strangers. I also recently discovered that this film will be set in the same universe, despite it being described as a reboot of sorts. And of course, we know it's the first of a new trilogy that we can expect to hopefully be released sometime by Lionsgate next year. I would imagine how I came across this was an interview from Emma Horvath, who was also starring in the film. She is the one who revealed that it's set in the same universe. So it's got to be either a loose prequel of sorts or it's a straightforward sequel that's not completely tied to those first two movies that we have, but it's still set afterwards. So kind of like if you recall how Jeepers Creepers 2 is kind of a loose sequel to the first one. It's not completely following up from those from that first film it's all just set in the same universe and there's details along the way that you discover that let you know yes this is the same world and of course it's a sequel but without picking up and following the story of trisha jenner so that's what it seems like could be occurring with the strangers three madeline pesh also hyped up us getting more of a backstory this time around as opposed to the original trilogy in an interview earlier this year with collider she said, according to according to her, just to summarize, she said, we'll get more character development, we'll get more answers, more mystery, etc. So all of that sounds like a recipe for success, but execution is everything. Now, according to this Tamara home, a reputable source, who I'm assuming is in contact with Lionsgate, told them that the film isn't dropping this month because it was supposed to come out in August, according to a cast member. It's not coming out this month as expected due to the ongoing strikes. So I would imagine we're not going to get The Strangers 3 until 2024 at the latest, earliest I should say. And then the subsequent sequels that have already been shot, we'll get those sometime later this year. I've even seen some of you guys suggest that at this point, maybe they should drop them all at once on a streaming service somewhere. But I have no idea if they even want this to be theatrical or not. I would think if they wanted to be theatrical, you are going to get these released at different points in time across the next couple of years. But we'll see. Diving into Scream 7. Scream 7 could be taking place in a plethora of different locations. How I'm imagining it, though, is that we could be going to Seattle. Now, why Seattle? Shout out to Killjoy Jake for pointing this out because I completely overlooked this like an idiot. But Sydney Prescott's location in the drafts for five and six seemed to highlight that she lives in Seattle. So if we're getting Sydney again, I'm imagining a story that immediately demands her inclusion because she would be in the opening or perhaps in a scene right after the opening where Ghostface invades her home. Let's her know that these streets are these streets are dangerous and you're not safe. Protect your neck. She immediately goes out of her way to defend her family afterwards because a child of hers could be abducted or something like that. I mean, the whole movie could be Sydney centric and placed in Seattle in Seattle. But time will tell. Now, of course, Seattle isn't the only possible place it could be. It could be happening in Hollywood. I just want to address the Seattle aspect because that is a good thing to speculate on since in two 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 times now from drafts from five and six although it's not mentioned in the movie sydney is described as living in seattle so seattle could actually be where scream seven is set at either in bits and pieces because of the sydney aspect of the movie or the whole entire thing if they indeed decide to do a sydney centric narrative now i will say if they decide to do a sydney centric narrative i will not be completely opposed to it but i do think it could create some type of halloween ends energy in me meaning that it doesn't feel as cohesive now because you're shifting focus back to her and if you don't balance the story with sam 
well, mostly Sam, Sam and Tara and the characters we've gotten to know and love from screen five and six. I can see how some other people who really don't care about Sydney could feel some type of way. But I digress. Jumping into the last topic here, Saw X. Saw X is undoubtedly going to be a success with fans or diehard fans of the franchise and the general public, hopefully, if it appeals to them, since they do matter more than people care to admit. However, during the Midsummer screen panel with Kevin Gruder and other people involved with the project, there was a Q&A that had some interesting remarks from the director. One of these questions was regarding Mark Hoffman, who we know is going to be present and return in the upcoming film. Fans seem to ask if we'll find out what happened to Hoffman after Saw 3D, to which Gruder said, I'm not going to answer that. Well, naturally, that's going to lead to speculation that Hoffman might be alive. I mean, it's only reasonable to think that we know he's back since it's set in between one and two. So he's not alive in that regard because it's taking place prior to his alleged death. And we get to hear Costas's voice in the trailer going of all the men to cheat. You chose John Kramer. We've had this confirmed by some of the dubbing actors being back to portray his uh, his lines. I don't know anything about the plot, but it's reasonable to think that perhaps the twist to the film ending could be us revealing Hoffman alive. Although they did confirm that he was dead, I think, previously on a home media commentary track for Saw 3D. But you can retcon as you please. Dr. Gordon also, unfortunately, just another tidbit of news. He won't be making an, an appearance in Saw X, according to Vink360 and Carrie Elwes' comments of his very own who flat out said he couldn't speak to it since he isn't involved anymore, but that could be his way of keeping secrets. When speaking to Screen Rant earlier this year, he said, I have no comment one way or another about that franchise. I really can't speak to it. I'm happy for the filmmakers that they continue to make money and that it, it seems to be a financial bonus for them. I really can't speak to it because I'm not really involved anymore. Now, of course, people are going to instantly think there's got to be some type of Andrew Garfield, No Way Home scenario going on here. But maybe he's serious. Maybe he's genuine. Maybe he's not going to be in it. But of course, maybe he could be pumping smoke up our ass and he's going to return. Dr. Gordon could be back in some capacity. I haven't heard any rumors about Dr. Gordon. The only person I've heard a rumor about that still hasn't become official was that we could see John's wife return. Uh, I can't remember her name as of right now, but that's the only rumor I have heard. I haven't heard any real plot specifics as much as I've tried to gain stuff to find out how good this will end up being because it does appear and from what I keep hearing from trusted insiders over on the Saw subreddit, it appears that this could end up being one of the better entries and even better than Spiral since I know a lot of people hated that entry. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.